from Gigs Online. And today I wanted to talk about this article that I read on Business Insider. It's really about the tech giants and their layoffs and how they are setting up severance packages for their former employees. If you haven't heard about, uh, I would say severance packages, normally when uh, tech companies let people go uh, in, in kind of mass, like they're doing where they're laying off thousands of people, they'll normally put together a package that's normally uh, medical and uh, I would say their salary for a period of time. Some of it is based on how long you were there and uh, they do it so that you can kind of transition into a new role because a lot of these people that have been let go are very talented people and it's not really any fault of their own. It's just kind of how the economy is functioning. We have seen you know, a slowdown in our economy. Um, inflation has went up and that has caused some of these tech companies to kind of pull back a little bit and say like, you know, hey, hey maybe we're a little bit too big for uh, where we should be from an operations perspective. So it's an unfortunate thing. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go through uh, some of these packages. Uh, the reality is that really, really big companies that have thousands of employees, tens of thousands, uh, Meta, Twitter, Stripe, Lyft, they're all really uh, either have announced the cuts or have made the cuts so far. Um, what's happening is that there's a lot of people uh, right now, they're talking about 15,000 employees have been laid off. Uh, the reality is that these are very... Um, talented people and they'll find cool stuff to work on. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later because I do think this is a good opportunity, but just kind of looking at the, the packages, wanted to kind of go through, get a reaction and then kind of wrap it up in the end. So uh, I would say um, Meta seems, you know, very generous. They're talking about, you know, 16 weeks. Um, and then it's really on top of those 16 weeks, how many years you've been there. So if you've been there for, you know, 10 years, you can actually look at somewhere probably like 26 weeks of your base pay. And that is very, very um, good for when you, you know, are trying to get to that, your next job because you do have bills, you may have a family, you may have a mortgage and, and you're trying to, you know, <laughs> uh, hopefully find, um, you know, sustainable employment as soon as possible. So this is actually a, a pretty good package. Uh, the other thing that um, has happened is that they're looking at uh, getting health insurance as well um, and also immigration support because there are a lot of H-1B visas and other types of visas uh, recipients that actually work at these country companies that have been impacted. And so that's kind of one thing that they're they're working on. Uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter is a little bit interesting. Um, uh, they are looking at uh, three months salary, which is around, I guess, you know, like I would say 90 days or whatever the amount of weeks that is, uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, we haven't really heard anything about additional severance based on service. Um, we haven't heard about um, insurance rates, uh, insurance, uh, health insurance, sorry. Uh, we also haven't heard about any type of immigration support. Twitter, I believe also has a lot of uh, visas uh, as far as people that work there um, and in other benefits is nothing. Um, mentioned so far. The thing that is a little bit um, interesting with Twitter is the fact that 50% of their staff have been laid off. So that is a very, very huge cut. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, hopefully Twitter can come out on the, on the uh, other side. I did see some articles where Twitter was actually, or was asking people to come back that they let go. So I think Twitter will be in a little bit of a flux right now as far as like, you know, their kind of head count. It may take them a couple months to kind of really get it to the number um, that they kind of are trying to target. So Lyft, Lyft is getting a 10 weeks pay. Again, veteran team members uh, receive more. So, you know, it's probably based on how many years you've been with Lyft. Uh, so this is actually uh, very much in line with what a lot of companies are doing. Uh, and then um, it's four weeks for, uh, um, employees who have worked at least four years at Lyft. So it's one of these things where you, you're kind of, you got these kind of buckets of people, people four years or, or, or under and then over. And that's kind of um, really kind of their buckets and interesting, but you know, they are looking at 10 weeks base a salary and about 13% of their, their staff have been impacted by this change. Um, Stripe 14 weeks. Um, I think the other thing is uh, they are they have some additional things that they're doing um, as far as 
you know, equivalents for healthcare. They're giving out some cash uh, so that people can kind of pay their own premiums. The other thing that I see is that they are uh, working on kind of immigration support. They, uh, they probably use a lot of visas as well. Uh, as well. I don't work with a lot. I haven't worked with a lot of people that have worked at Stripe. Twitter, yes. Uh, Facebook or Meta, sorry. Meta, yes. Uh, but haven't really worked with too many people from Stripe. Uh, so this is a great opportunity. Uh, and, and, you know, it's never great when people lose their jobs. That's not a good thing. The great thing about the people that are being impacted and it doesn't feel great is that they have an opportunity. Um, they have a couple of things where they're going to be very attractive to a lot of companies. It's a lot of companies that are probably good choices for people that worked at Twitter, that worked at Meta, and they just didn't know about them because they were at Twitter or they were at Meta. They, 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 these companies weren't on their radar. So there's going to be a lot of great opportunities and it's probably going to be, uh, things you may have been working on two years ago where they need your help to kind of scale things up. So it's an opportunity to really do some really great work or getting back to some of the roots that really kind of made you, uh, fall in love with these other companies you were at. Um, I think the other thing is you're kind of giving people a runway to kind of experiment. When you talk about severance, I can see a lot of people kind of taking a shot. Um, if I was a, a co-founder and I was looking for um, a technical co-founder, I would look at a lot of these companies. I would ask my network and ask my friends and say like, hey, do you know anybody that got impacted um, by you know the layoffs at one of these companies? Hey, I'm looking for a co-founder. I have some funding or I have a, a line of sites of funding. Um, who can I, uh, you know, who can I work with? Um, so that, that can help. Uh, I think the other thing is that I think we may see uh, a kind of an uh, influx of, of people kind of doing some side hustle activities or, or, or side gig activities until they find their next job, because they do have the security of, of kind of this, this kind of, you know, transition money with the severance, but it would be great for them to still bring in a little bit more money. Uh, so I do see some activity there. So overall, I think this really has a, a very dramatic impact on our, you know, um, our economy because, you know, there are people that are not going to be working at these companies, but they're still getting the same amount of money that they were getting before. So I think spending is going to change. I think some new solutions come to the market. And I think a lot of companies that didn't have a seat at the table with a lot of these very, high profile tech uh, people, either from a product side or um, a development side, or even analysts or architects, they're actually in the market now. So I, I'm really, really bullish about people being able to find, you know, talent that wasn't accessible before. But I will warn companies, please do not get complacent. If you're looking for talent, you have to strike because people have a window and they want to land somewhere and they want some stability. So I would encourage you to look at your, your hiring processes and see if you can expedite them so that you can actually take some swings at this talent to bring them in. So that's how I kind of look at it. Overall, it's a bad day when somebody loses their job, but I will say that the people that are impacted are very smart, they're talented, and they are going to do great uh, work wherever they go. So if you found any of this helpful, um, I would love a, a like <laughs> of the video. Um, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to uh, turn on your notifications. Uh, the one thing that when you do like the content on our channel that allows other people to find it, uh, I hope that you, know, you found this useful. And if you have any questions, comments, or uh, disagree with any of my points that I raised, please drop a comment. I respond to every comment. And I really appreciate your time and, and all of the support you all have given me. So thank you so much. Talk to you soon.